Hello, my name is Professor Laura Coates from the University of Oxford. In this video, I will present key 52 week safety and efficacy data for bimikizumab in patients with active psoriatic arthritis or PSA and prior experience of TNF inhibitors from the phase three randomized placebo controlled study B complete and the open label extension B vital. These are our disclosures. PSA is a chronic inflammatory disease affecting several domains, including joints and skin. The IL-17 cytokines have been implicated in the pathogenesis of spondyloarthritis. Bimikizumab is a monoclonal IgG1 antibody that selectively inhibits IL-17A and IL-17F. Bimikizumab has demonstrated clinically meaningful efficacy compared with placebo to week 16 in the phase 3 study B complete. Here we present the safety and efficacy of bimikizumab in patients with PSA up to week 52 in B complete and the open label extension B vital. In B complete, 400 patients were randomized 2 to 1 to subcutaneous bimikizumab 160 mg every 4 weeks or placebo. Patients completing week 16 of B complete were eligible for entry into its open label extension B vital where all patients, including those randomized to placebo in B-complete, received bimikizumab 160 mg every four weeks. As shown in this table, patient demographics and baseline characteristics were well balanced between treatment groups and typical for a population of patients with moderate to severe psoriatic arthritis. Safety results are shown here for the double blind period to week 16, as well as events from the open label period from week 16 to 52, only for patients who switched from placebo to bimikizumab. The far right columns show events for the entire study period for patients in the bimikizumab arm who received bimikizumab from weeks 0 to 52, as well as for all patients who received at least one dose of bimikizumab. To week 52, 62.6% of patients reported at least one treatment emergent adverse event whilst receiving bimikizumab. There was one sudden death in a bimikizumab treated patient with a history of cardiac events deemed unrelated to study treatment. The most common treatment emergent adverse events on bimikizumab treatment were COVID-19 infection, oral candidiasis, nasopharyngitis, and urinary tract infection. As expected, with the known safety profile of bimikizumab, there was an increased incidence of fungal infections in bimikizumab-treated patients. All fungal infections were mucocutaneous and localised. To week 52, 6.4% of patients had a candidate infection whilst receiving bimikizumab, the majority of which were oral candidiasis. None were serious, severe or systemic and most resolved with antifungal treatment. Two cases of oral candidiasis led to study discontinuation. Recurrent candida infections were reported in five patients. Focusing now on efficacy, Achievement of ACR 20, 50 and 70 was sustained from week 16 to 52 in patients initially randomised to bimikizumab. Over half of bimikizumab treated patients achieved ACR 50 at week 52. Patients who switched from placebo to bimikizumab demonstrated a rapid increase in efficacy sustained to week 52. Improvements in skin, including complete skin clearance, were sustained from week 16 to 52 in patients with baseline psoriasis who were initially randomised to bimikizumab. Over 60% of bimikizumab-treated patients achieved complete skin clearance at week 52. And patients who switched from placebo to bimikizumab demonstrated rapid improvements in skin sustained to week 52. Similarly, achievement of composite endpoints assessing multiple disease domains were sustained from week 16 to 52 in patients receiving bimikizumab. Over 40% of bimikizumab-treated patients achieved minimal disease activity at week 52. Consistently, patients who switched from placebo to bimikizumab at week 16 achieved rapid improvements in efficacy responses, approaching those of patients initially randomised to bimikizumab by week 52. 
B complete and the B vital open label extension demonstrated that imikizumab was well tolerated in patients with active psoriatic arthritis and prior inadequate response or intolerance to TNF inhibitors up to week 52. The safety profile of bimikizumab was consistent with prior studies in PSA. The efficacy of bimikizumab was shown across a range of key PSA domains up to week 52. Improvements observed at week 16 were sustained to week 52 in patients initially randomised to bimikizumab. And in patients that switched from placebo to bimikizumab at week 16, Rapid improvements were observed, approaching the response rates of those initially randomised to bimikizumab by week 52. Further outcomes are reported in the manuscript. Thank you for your time.